Good morning guys and welcome to this week in my life. Happy Monday. I am getting ready to head out the door but I wanted to show you guys my outfit because I actually really like this outfit. So my top is from Aritzia. My pants are from Levi. They're just like white jeans and then I'm wearing it. I literally almost always fall when I'm doing an outfit of the day. Fun fact because I'm like trying to show off the shoes and then I like fall. Shoes are, I think these are from Aldo. But I love this outfit. It's like perfect, like not too dressy, but it still like puts in a little effort. I really like this outfit. It's actually one that I feel like I took time to curate. So let me know what you guys think. I always have my lunch ready to go in the mornings, as you guys know. And the last video you saw me pre-packing my lunch. Today's a popcorn day because we don't have any saltine crackers and yeah, but... I might get like another snack from this like, it's not a vending machine, but it's like a little market where you just like check out and pay. There's like no cashier, but it's hard to describe. But there's like a little machine that you just like scan the item or whatever, because I swear the microwave at work does not pop all the kernels in this. So I get like a 75, 70% of the popcorn, which I'm feeling a little uh, taken advantage of when it comes to that, but it's fine. <laughs> So I have this and then I have my tumbler here, which I need to fill up because we don't have any water. I swear, we're out of everything. And then sometimes I take the perfume. Typically I always have it, but I'll just put it on here because this thing makes my bag so heavy. I wish they would like make the packaging like lighter, but it's fine. So this is what I wear. I wear a Jimmy Choo Illicit Flower to work. It's a little less strong than the other, the tobacco vanilla I always wear because well, the tobacco vanilla number one is like super expensive and this one's not. This one's only like 60 bucks, but look how big it is. But the thing is during the day, it doesn't last that long. Just keep that in mind. Like it's not going to last you the entire day, but this is what it looks like. And if I can, I'll link it down below. Sometimes I legit forget to link things, but it's fine. I'm just going to spritz that on. And then I'm probably just going to keep it here. I'm going to get on the road now and get some Starbucks because it's Monday. I always find an excuse to get Starbucks because I'm like, I need to justify this purchase. Perfect timing because it's 7.52. I always get a notification too on my phone to like make sure to pack my lunch because there's been times where I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot it. And it's legit my fault. I'm just like, this sucks. All right, guys, I got my coffee. The usual, because the Starbucks has iced coffee. Remember last week? It was just, like, so funny. Yeah, they made it well. Like, you can automatically tell by, like, the shade of brown, like, if it's going to be good or not because of the shade. So, and I'm currently listening to Gretchen Garrity's vlog, the one she posted about, like, candlelit yoga and stuff. I love listening to her stuff. And I did want to mention too that I typically go to Cycle Bar on Mondays, but they changed to 7 a.m., which I'm a little sad about because I like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like express rides. Not for the fact that like they're bad or anything, but like if I'm gonna go someplace to get a workout, I want everyone's backing out at the same time. If I'm going someplace to do a workout, I don't wanna just go for 30 minutes. And then I have like a wide gap of time before work. So like, I mean, tomorrow I'm already planning on going to Cycle Bar like on Tuesday. The 5.45 a.m. class is super early um, because then after the class, I'm gonna edit my weekend, my the weekend in my life of vlog. I do have something planned for that. And then Wednesday is typically like my relax, do nothing time. And then Thursday I go in the evenings and stuff. So basically I feel like the express rides are just too fast. When I was waking up, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's 7.30. Like the express ride's already over pretty much. And it's like, I don't like that because if I'm gonna be like taking my time to get somewhere, like I need 45 minutes or an hour to be there to like get my time's worth, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I didn't go today and I'm just gonna go tomorrow and kind of sucks because I like going on Mondays because I think it's like a really good way to start the week and everything, but it's not the, it's not the end of the world and everything. I mean, it is what it is, but 
anyway just wanted to say that because it is Monday and I typically always go to cycle bar on Monday but I chose not to today and I'm kind of sad about it and now I'm just on the road again as we say I feel like I'm always on the road because I work so far away Okay, so also too, I'm just gonna put this in this vlog because I'm thinking about it now. I think I was gonna say it in one of my other vlogs, but like I didn't because I forgot. But I hate back to school and one of the reasons also why I hate back to school, there's so many freaking cars on the road. Oh my gosh, like there's a drastic change, okay? Like during the month of like July and August, like it was pretty much smooth sailing, like getting to work. But like now, I mean, I am in a busy part of the road here but like oh my gosh guys like there's so many freaking cars on the road oh so annoying but it's fine again <laughs> okay so you guys know how I was telling you that the microwave does not like pop all the kernels of course the day that I said that they pop almost all of them look at that isn't that crazy anyway that just goes to show when you speak things out in the world, like sometimes they backfire on you and yeah. But got a good amount of popcorn from the microwave today. All right, ladies, say hi to the vlog. Hello. Hi. All right, hi. tell them what night it is. It's Hooters night. Oh, it's wing night. Wing night. And I'm not forgetting to vlog. Thank goodness, Valerie could probably, you cut up the veggies no, tonight, right? Sherry did. Sherry did. I made the dip. Oh, she made no. Okay. okay, anyway, but there's the gorgeous wings. Yes. Beautiful. Good morning, guys. It is 5 a.m. almost. Oh my gosh, I can barely open my eyes. But I chose to wear the pink outfit today. And as you guys can see, um, okay. So you see how it like kind of crisscrosses in the back like that? Okay, well, I didn't know that it did that until I saw this picture and I was like, oh my gosh, this, I'm gonna walk because I kind of have to go and it's gonna get dark. <laughs> it's still so early out, but I have to like get my lunch and stuff. So enjoy this like podcast section. Um, okay, so I saw this picture and I was like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense because, because when I was like cycling with this bra and I was like, I really like it, it's comfortable, everything, but like, my boobs are going everywhere because like the support wasn't like that good, you know? Well, turns out that I didn't fasten the little buckle that was supposed to be fastened. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I thought that was hilarious because that's something that I would totally do. And I'm packing my lunch now, guys. After that, I'm like, oh my gosh, how do I, you know, get it fastened? And the trick I learned was fasten, like... You know, you put a bra on, you have it around your like under boob and then you just swerve it around. That's kind of like what I did. Actually, you know who actually, I think I uh, learned that from, I think I saw Aspen wearing this and then she had it on like with the button and I was like, like with the button fastened. I'm like, oh my gosh, how did I miss that? Okay, so I'm on the road to cycle bar class and I was thinking, cause I'm watching Gretchen's new video and it's like almost 40 minutes long and I'm like, I could never. But like I touched in my other video, I could, I don't like watching 40 minute videos. Maybe, maybe if it's like a specific person, like Gretchen or like this girl, Manda, I used to watch. Well, she doesn't post a lot. That's why I say used to, but there's some people I can watch a, like a long, long video, but like anyone else, I just can't do it. It's just too long. Like, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but like some people's vlogs are just boring. Like probably like mine. I mean, I kind of produce what I like to watch, which is more like talking. So it's more like a podcast if it is going to be long. But anyway, I was noticing that the reason why people can make such long videos, number one, they always do hauls and stuff, that always takes up time, which I 
can't do that a lot, obviously. And I wouldn't really want to. Like, what would you do with all that stuff, man? Like, I'd barely go anywhere. I'd just go to work. Wow, there's people, like, riding their bikes at 5 a.m. Okay. You know, it's kind of smart because it's so hot out. So, I don't... I... I can see their reasoning. But yeah, they have stuff to talk about like hauls and also they have sponsors. So obviously the sponsors get a chunk of the video and that also takes up time. So I actually feel like because of those two like big things, I can't really do, you know? So I've kind of like noticed that. I'm like, oh, I didn't even realize and I need to like take a step back. I think the perfect timing for videos is, um, like 20 minutes. I think 20 minutes is a perfect time for a video because it's not too long, but it's not too short. On the long side, 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Another thing too is I feel like I'm totally exposing myself because like during these week in my life vlogs, you're going to just notice that, well, like obviously I don't eat the healthiest, which is like kind of funny. I don't know, but I do work out. I mean, at least four times a week that's good but still like we had Hooters last night I was thinking oh my gosh like you know because food is something that I can vlog and talk about and it's like a little bit different not really because I have like the same lunch every day so okay um it's fine but I'm coming more exposed because I'm actually sharing like the more repetitive stuff so yeah I think that's kind of funny but it's fine. I do like though that people go like so fast this early in the morning because it like gets me there faster, you know? It's always nice. So in the bathroom right now, the song playing is the motto by Tiesto, I think, and Ava Max, and I absolutely love it, but I have to talk over it because I don't want to get copyrighted. Today, I'm wearing this green dress. I'll show you guys in just a little bit, and then obviously my bra, but I always pack like a dress or something like light because it fits so well in my bag, but also I guess it looks good at work too because it's a little bit dressier, but I just think it's so funny because I mainly pack things that are more convenient to carry. Okay, people. Well, where am I supposed to get my coffee? I don't know if you can see, but there's nothing in that Starbucks because they're doing construction. So yeah, I don't know where I'm going to go now. I'm just kidding. I'm going to go the one probably near work, but still this kind of sucks. Okay. So now before I get coffee, I came to this Publix because they have a Starbucks in there. You can't really see the little Starbucks thing, but they have Starbucks in there, so hopefully that'll work out well. But I'm gonna edit this video so I can get it up probably tomorrow. It's only like 13 minutes, so it shouldn't take too long to edit. Okay, so I ended up getting my iced coffee, my usual, and she made it like so good. And she like wrote, I don't know, it was a little different just because it was in a Publix. But now I think I'm going to not edit my video. I had to run in, like my little schedule kind of got a little messed up because I had to go to the bathroom so bad, I swear. Those wings go right through ya. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go to the bathroom. Might as well just get the drink. So got the drink and yeah. So I like to relax while I have my drink. So I'm not going to edit while I sip my coffee because it's like more work vibes. So I'm going to kind of just like play on my phone. It won't be that long because yeah, but then I'll get to editing. Just changing up, changing it up a bit. As you guys know, I was on Instagram, relaxing, sipping the coffee. And this girl that I was friends with, it was like, she was like a childhood friend, I would say. She's getting married and no, I'm not going because I haven't like talked to her in like years pretty much. But like, it's just, I was just thinking about this and it's so wild to me. The people that I thought I wouldn't talk to like in adult life, like I talked to. 
And the people that I thought would always be in my life, like, aren't in my life, really. Like, we barely talk. It's just, like, you see each other on social media. But it's just, like, so crazy to me. And I get that, like, people are in, like, different, like, stage of the, stages of their life. And, like, you know, you get wrapped up in things. But, like, the people that I would have bet on way back when, when I was, like, I don't know, in dance and stuff. So, dance was, like, a really big part of my life, as you guys know. And, like, I don't talk to any of those people. But, like, school people were always, and I'm going to be completely honest, like, school people were, like, lower tiered on my list. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just, like, weird that, like, I talk to more high school people than I do dance. I don't know. I just think that's so weird. And, I mean, it's not anyone's, like, fault, but it's just, like, wow. I would have never guessed, and it's just, like, kind of surprising to me. Do I wish it was different? Well, like... Personally, yeah, but it's not anything that, I mean, I guess I could change it because my mom's like, you should text blah, 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 say when they're in town, like meet up for lunch. But like, I don't know. I just don't. So I guess it's like, you know, on my part too, not very good, but you know, it's life and people come in and out and I hope she has like a good wedding and stuff. Again, like I haven't talked to her in like so long that like, heck, if you asked me like what her favorite color was, I probably wouldn't know. Even I don't know the favorite color of many people, but like still, but I'm just getting ready, um, for work. Okay. So I'm currently driving home and oh my gosh, guys, I was sitting in the longest line of traffic cause there was a horrible accident. Um, it looked like a car like rammed. And when I say rammed, I mean like rammed in another car because there's a lot of stoplights on this road called John Young. And like, if you're not paying attention, like you can ram somebody. So that person was like, the person that rammed the person probably was like on their phone or something. But I swear, I was just like sit in, tra I was just like stuck in traffic. And it's not good when you have to like go to the bathroom so bad. So anyway, I'm almost home now. And uh, we're all having salads and baked potatoes, I think for dinner, which will be good pretty hungry but I'm also gonna wash my hair tonight because I think I'm gonna change my hair washing days I am playing my neighborhood now here is the salad yummy yummy didn't want to forget to show you guys and the creamy Caesar on the side and I didn't forget to vlog the tater Okay, so it is currently 5.30 in the morning and I'm here ready to ride. Cycle bar actually got a whole new look, so I'm hoping to show you guys. I have a little clip on my phone, but I took it for Instagram stories and I hate when people use Instagram stories as like in the vlogs. So I'm gonna try to get a clip on my actual camera to show you guys. Also, I was thinking I really need a bag for like my shoes and I keep my water bottle in here. Um, this one's fine for now, but I would like a new bag for that. I don't know what I would use though, to be honest. Um, I don't know. That's kind of like a little side detail. I realized too that I did not show you the, um, my outfit yesterday, but it was just that green dress. You've seen it a million times, but another goal of mine is to show you my outfit today. Um, it's okay. It's like jeans and like a little crop top, but like obviously no skin showing. So this is the new setup. They have like the iPads over here and then the, like, the little desk over there and then obviously the merch. Okay, and this is the outfit. Don't worry guys, I'll take off the socks but I'm just wearing them because um, of my blisters on my feet. This is a Wednesday's outfit. <laughs> I went back to this Publix again to get coffee because, okay, so there is this, um, there is this Starbucks like next to my work and it's okay, but like there's just a lot of homeless people that hang around there. Plus that Starbucks takes forever. Like if I mobile order and then like I drive and it's a good like, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes away depending on like the lights and stuff. I swear it takes them forever and like my orders aren't that complicated, you know what I mean? So I don't know, but 
the people here seem good and they open at seven so it's all good and I don't have a video to edit today because I'm only uploading like twice a week now so yeah it's just me time and I love me time because it's just so relaxing okay it's currently almost 10 30 at night and what do I do at night I shop just a little bit no not really I actually put in an offer for this gym bag I don't know it's just so cute so there's a red version just like this and I don't know the little straps look like ribbons like little cute tied ribbons and now I'm like super orange because I was like flashing the but anyway it's like a mini duffel bag and basically I really want a gym bag to like carry my stuff in so I have like soap I have deodorant I have dry shampoo I have a hairbrush like I just have a lot of stuff that's like all in different places, but I want like one concise area. But I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, that's why I just put in an offer. And if they decline, then I'm actually probably going to get this one. I'm gonna turn orange again because I'm gonna show you guys. Um, it is this cycle bar one. It's on Poshmark. Um, it just says rock your ride. Color, come back. If the seller like declines my offer, then I'll just get the $15 one. And basically right now I just have my two items in a Lululemon bag, one of those like reusable ones, which is fine, but I just kind of wanted something more like substantial. So I was like looking on Poshmark, eBay and all that stuff and all those websites to like see if I could find something cute. Cause like, I'm like really picky when it comes to bags. So there's other really cool colors. Like there's this really cool red color of that bag. And then there is a really cool purple color. And then there's just like solid black. The solid black one that I found for like 50 bucks is really nice but like there's pilling on the inside and it's really bad so i'm like ooh, i don't know i rather just like not have it than get one that's like really really torn up um so the bag i'm looking for they discontinued it so that's why i'm just looking on the secondhand market it is the lululemon d tb mini duffel um it's a pretty old model so that's why it's hard to find and it's kind of obviously over a hundred dollars there's some that are like 80 130 the one that i put in an offer was like 70 which is good for like lululemon and especially with it being discontinued like maybe the seller might <laughs> accept it i don't know I think that's about it for the clip, but I just wanted to share what I've been looking at. Also too, we had pizza, forgot to vlog it, but it's fine. Pizza's just so good. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm gonna get to bed now. It's like 10.30. I might give myself five more minutes cause like I'm just straight chilling. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a much unwanted update on the bag uh situation <laughs> this is so dumb i swear okay so it's the next day this is what i'm wearing i have on uh, this like maroon colored top my cousin got me for my birthday i love this top it's so cute it's so comfortable but anyway so as you guys know i counter offered this bag and it wasn't one that i actually really wanted because it had like these navy dark blue stripes on it and i was like uh, I don't know, man. So they counter offered back like $5 more than like my price so that I just declined. But also last night I found a bag that I really loved because it was like solid black and it was hot pink on the inside. It was similar to the other one I put in the offer for. I like the one on eBay better. So I added it to my watch list. This morning I get a offer which they discounted it like $12. So I was like, eh, I don't know, because like the shipping was kind of expensive because it's coming from all the way from California. So I countered offered back, like I took $4 off. So I'm hoping they accept it, I don't know. We'll see. I know that there is two watchers, so the other watcher got that offer too. And I'm like, oh, that kind of sucks. I am a lot more familiar with eBay than I am Poshmark and stuff. So I feel comfortable like on it. So I messaged the girl or whoever's on the other end. They're like a top seller too on eBay. So I messaged them and I was like, 
okay hey hey there I just counter offered so I could try to counter off the shipping like you know get the shipping lower not that it's gonna be lower but I want a lower price on the item because shipping is so darn expensive so I hope they understand like you know I don't like the rules but like shipping is expensive so I kind of just wanted that built into the price I'm gonna pay you know we'll see the saga continues <laughs> um, honestly I just wish that they made the bag still and I could just like buy a new one but they don't I don't know how old the bag is I saw this blog and that's kind of how I found the bag was through this like blog it was a what's in my gym bag which I'm gonna make once I eventually get a gym bag okay I was just like honestly watching this guy like drive really aggressively and honk at people and it's like you're on a road that has a bunch of lights and you're taking the slow route so like if you need to get somewhere fast like you should get on the turnpike or like not take this road anyway so I was gonna say I'm really picky when it comes to bags like if I don't like a bag, I'm not obviously going to buy it, but I'm going to buy the one that like I really like and I really want. So that's why this is like a quest to like find this, find the perfect gym bag. If this bag situation doesn't like work itself out, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy this one from Allo. I'm not getting it on Allo, obviously. I'm not going to spend $50 for this like tote that I can get on Poshmark for $25. And it's just like a big tie-dye tote that says aloe on it and it's really cute um and I know it would fit everything so and it's like a big slouchy bag too it's like a huge tote I was looking at the cycle bar one but it was just like too it was just too small and I feel like it wouldn't like fit all this stuff that I want to keep in it so I kind of passed on that and just in case if I like start going you know to like the gym like a normal gym like I don't want to say cycle bar because it's not cycle bar there so I kind of want like a generic name one so yeah that's why my backup plan is the aloe tote that I they're like a dime a dozen like you can find them on Poshmark eBay for like $25 $15 which is a great price obviously so we'll see I will keep you guys updated I also got some Starbucks like normal but I swear like the girls like so nice but I had to ask for almond milk again and she was like oh you can try to put like more almond milk in yours and I'm like sorry and she was like it's okay and she gave me like a little bit more almond milk so anyway yeah that's my rambles for today it is Thursday and lighting's crazy but it's okay. Okay, this is a fast update on the bag. <laughs> they messaged me like when we were talking, all right? They accepted the offer. Woohoo! So, this is kind of crazy to like pay for a bag, but like because you can't get them anymore, I feel like they're from like 2015 or something. I'm paying like 100 bucks for it, which is fine. I mean, that's how much the leggings are, so I can kind of justify that. Uh, but it's a really cute one. I really wish I would get the red one but I was looking on like the used market and the ones that are like a little beat up there you can like see the dirt on them and I'm just like ew if I'm gonna be using this bag you know like for every day going to the gym or cycle bar or whatever I don't want it to like have dirt on it and like see it like that's gross so that's why I just played it safe with the black the red one looks like a cute little Christmas present I don't know I think I showed you guys but you'll see like they have little ties and stuff um, but yeah, they accepted and I'm so excited. And now I'm going to head into Cycle Bar. I lucked out because I got here and waited for like 15 seconds and then ba bam a perfect parking spot became available and now like there's all these cars like going around me trying to like find a parking spot. Hopefully they're just patient and it works out for them. But I'm gonna go in now, have my spin class. Oh my gosh, I wasn't recording that entire time. <laughs> Okay, so Sherry over here was a saint and made me a salad. It's currently like almost nine. It's 10 till. She used tin foil because she ran out of saran wrap. Gonna have this. Probably gonna have some Triscuits too because um, I forgot to put turkey on the list. Gonna have my dinner now. Okay, so just finished dinner. My hair is kind of like still wild and crazy from Cycle Bar. But I wanted to share with you guys that I finished the I'm Glad My Mom Died book. I read through this so fast, I'm like dropping it. I always take off the book covers because I don't want it to get like ripped or broken. So 
I just have the plain book. Also, I love the plain book vibe, like I said in my other video, my other vlog. But this is such a good book. If you haven't read it, purchased it, you need to. You'll read it in like two days. It's such a good book. Um, especially if you watched iCarly or um, Sam and Cat, which I wasn't an avid viewer of that. I, It's horrible to say this, but I kind of watched that like when nothing else was on. Uh, that I like wanted to watch like it was like my backup show that I would watch so anyway not that I didn't like it it was just I was more of a, like a Disney Channel gal so that's what I kind of just stuck to it is Friday it is Friday this is my outfit for today I'm wearing the blue square pants I'm actually going to dinner with my friend Ashley tonight which will be nice I still haven't picked the restaurant, but I think we're gonna go somewhere in Maitland because like I never go to Maitland and it's not too far from downtown. Siri, yeah. happy Friday. It's Friday. It is Friday. <laughs> sure. mm -hmm. All right guys, we got the coffee and this time she did it perfect. It was so funny because it was the same barista that was there yesterday who was like, oh, I tried to put extra almond milk in yours. And then, um, so today I was like, oh, it's perfect, it's perfect, because like she did put more in today. So she was like, I'm getting there, I'm working on it. Um, I was like, no, it's good, it's good. So anyway, I like when they're consistent with the people because I feel like the one, well, the one that's under construction, that one, I'm gonna be honest, like wasn't the best one, but I think it's because they had so many like new people working there. So anyway but with the other starbucks's i've noticed that it's like the same people so that's good and then you know they're experienced so they kind of like get to like know you and your order and everything like the barista today was good okay wait i lied so i'm back because i do have something to talk about and i'm not trying to be like rude or anything okay so don't take the song away but yesterday night there was a girl in like psycho bar class and like, you know, I typically try not to look around the room, but like, I can't help myself because like, I genuinely enjoy watching people because like, it's like people watching, but like on, in, in the room on the bikes. So I'm like looking around and I'm just like, there's this one girl going at it so hard and like not really, she was like, her body was in a position. I don't know if she could actually hurt herself. Cause like, I'm not a professional when it comes to like positions and everything on the bike but like she was just going at it so hardcore that it was like calm down like but they don't instruct you as in correct the positions on the bike like because they're riding too like the instructors are anyway it was just I understand why other cycle places have more the more experienced riders right in the front and have like more of the less experienced riders right in the back because I will tell you that like as a rider it is distracting to see people wibble wobbling like all over the bike and like just I don't know just it's just better when there's like a more experienced rider in the front but I'm not saying that again to be mean because like anyone can sit wherever they want but I understand it now like after that that little thing yesterday I was like I now understand why other cycle spin studios encourage that um now I've never been to any other spin studios and I do like the cycle bar is is the way it is and like very welcoming and stuff but let me just say, like, I see the other side of it, if you get my drift. So, yeah, that's me, just my thoughts. There was this other time, too, that a lady was, like, on her phone, probably 70% of the class, like, texting. And that was, like, at 5.45 a.m. Like, who's up that early to be texting you like that? I don't know. And that was actually really distracting, too. And she was in the back. But, like, I know they're not going to kick someone out because they're on their phone because they're, like, paying customer. But, like, still, that's, like, really rude and considerate to, like, the other riders and the instructor. Like, I just find that to be, like, the most rude thing ever. So, anyway, those are just my thoughts because yesterday really sparked the, oh, my gosh, I now understand why. Like, why things are the way they are at other places. Okay, so I'm on my way to dinner now. Work was good. Pretty chill day had a few more heads to cut out um, for this other system but it was okay 
and yeah so I will get as much footage as I can like on my phone and stuff it's kind of like a nicer restaurant I'm, that's why I kind of like wore a nicer outfit so I'm going to at least take pictures if I don't get any footage like please don't hate me but I will take like photos for Instagram because I think my food's gonna be pretty cute so we shall see Use the second from the left lane to turn left onto South Orange Avenue, then turn right onto West Anderson Street. Sunday, but I got like the stuff on the side. It's so good. It reminds me of the um, cookie cake at Chili's. It's so good. It comes out in this like hot pan. And then I gave my friend Ashley the uh, the strawberries on the side. 